Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's Walt here from Down the Block Sports. And today, I want to talk about the NFL. We are hearing reports that Jimmy Garoppolo and the 49ers are working on a trade partner. Uh, we're going to talk about why they're looking to trade him and who could possibly trade for the 49ers quarterback. Again, I'm Alec Walt. This is Down the Block Sports. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Jimmy Garoppolo, obviously on the trade block, had a pretty tough ending to what's looking like his career with the San Francisco 49ers, throwing an interception in his final pass in the loss to the LA Rams in the NFC Championship game. The reason they're trying to trade him is because the next man in line, Trey Lance, is who they drafted number three overall in the 2021 NFL Draft. Lance takes over, Jimmy Garoppolo is on a new team, and that's why they're looking for a trade partner before 2022. Now, when you look at the trade market, there are some teams looking for a quarterback, and that's why at number five, I have the Carolina Panthers. Many people are watching the show thinking, Walt, you were so high on the Carolina Panthers, yet they just so disappointed in 2021, and that's exactly why I think they go after them. When you look at Matt Rule's first couple seasons with the Carolina Panthers, they have not gone to plan. If they have another 6-11 so season, what makes you think Matt Rule is going to return? Yes, I understand he's under a long-term contract, but that team has really disappointed You know, these last couple of years. He can't afford another bad season, especially in a division that no longer has Tom Brady. Um, there's no excuses for the Carolina Panthers at this point. They need to secure that spot at the quarterback position. Uh, Sam Darnold is set to return, but... You know, many people who watched the Panthers last year were not set on what they saw from Sam Darnold. So uh, when I look at the Carolina Panthers right now with Christian McCaffrey, DJ Moore, and other pieces like that, they need to figure it out offensively this year. There could be some changes in Carolina. Don't be surprised if they make a move for Jimmy Garoppolo. Uh, number four, I have the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Why? Because they need to search for a new quarterback. Tom Brady's on his way out. It'd be hilarious if Jimmy Garoppolo replaced Tom Brady after the whole situation with him previously in New England. And we look at Tampa Bay, they have a very solid roster. Again, free agency will determine a lot because without Tom Brady there, some free agents might want to play on a different team. But uh, when you look at the Tampa Bay Buccaneers right now, they're likely going to return Chris Godwin. They have Mike Evans also under contract. Uh, some pretty solid offensive pieces. Bruce Arian as the head coach. Uh, some solid coordinators if they're still there after some coaching changes here. But when you look at Tampa Bay, they need to get a quarterback. Again, in a division that isn't very good. The Falcons' average team. Saints, you know, no more Sean Payton. Who's going to be their quarterback? Can't say I'm too scared of them right now. Same with Carolina. If Sam Darnold's our QB for the whole season, unless they make a trade like this for Jimmy Garoppolo, how good are the Panthers going to be next year? The Bucs are in perfect position to still remain atop the division. If they can get the right quarterback, going after someone like Jimmy Garoppolo could make a lot of sense while they bridge to find the next guy to take over as the franchise quarterback. Number three, Denver Broncos. The reason I have them at number three is because I do think they will go after someone like Aaron Rodgers. Um, especially with, after hiring the head coach who used to be the offensive coordinator for the Green Bay Packers, you know, it makes they need to go after a new quarterback. You know, I wasn't set on Teddy Bridgewater. I'm not set on Drew Locke. If they can find a way to bring Jimmy G even in, in for even one year as they find a way to find the new guy, I think it makes a lot of sense. You know, you look at their roster and they have a ton of talent offensively. You know, you look at Javante Williams solid running backs going to ex expected to take over as the number one back next year. You know, you look at their receiving core with Jerry Judy and Cortland Sutton. You talk to a lot of Broncos fans. They were not impressed at all with their wide receiver duo last year. You bring in Jimmy Garoppolo, you know, yes, he's not the best downfield passer in the world, but he's a guy who can throw the ball to his receivers. Um, they're pretty solid at the tight end position. You know, Jimmy Garoppolo loves to throw the football to the tight end. You have Noah Fant and Albert Akui Boonham. You know, the pieces are there to be successful. The offensive line isn't amazing. The defense is young and up and coming. But you look at the Denver Broncos. They're way too talented to be where they are today. Jimmy Garoppolo gets wins. They're in a tough division. There is a lot of work to do there for the Denver Broncos. But uh, when I look at the Denver Broncos and adding someone like Jimmy Garoppolo, I think it makes a ton of sense. Uh, the offensive, the head coach now has an offense that's been consistently successful at his time in Green Bay. Yes, I understand Aaron Rodgers was the run was the guy running the show up there. But if they can't find a way to get Aaron Rodgers, they need to be active in getting other quarterbacks. One of their next best options may be going after Jimmy Garoppolo. At number two, I have the Pittsburgh Steelers. Big Ben announced his retirement from the National Football League. He's someone who had a very long and successful career with the Pittsburgh Steelers. They're going through now an era change. And when you look at Jimmy Garoppolo, he is the perfect person to enter in and be pretty solid in this situation. Mike Tomlin will be the head coach again next year. The Steelers did go out public saying that they believe uh, Haskins and uh, Rudolph are going to compete for the spot 
If anyone in their right mind thinks that those are going to be the two players competing for the role for the Pittsburgh Steelers, I think you're out of your freaking mind. They're two backup quarterbacks. You know, you're the Pittsburgh Steelers. Get a real quarterback. You know, let's be real here. It's an organization that's been very successful for a very long time. Jimmy Garoppolo can get you wins in a very tough division. You still have guys like Najee Harris. Hopefully you can bring back someone like Juju Smith-Schuster and, uh, you know, Chase Claypool. Uh, Pat Fryermuth has been a really solid addition. Talk about Jimmy Garoppolo wanting to throw to the tight ends. There's a tight end right there who has the chance to be a potential tight end one down the road for a very, very, very long time. The defense... Wasn't the best last year, but still has some very solid pieces. Mike Tomlin's one of the better coaches in the National Football League. Doesn't get all the credit that I think he deserves. But if you're the Pittsburgh Steelers looking to remain competitive in a very tough division where really anyone can finish in any spot uh, due to the state of it, since uh, the Bengals are going to the freaking Super Bowl. But when I look at Pittsburgh, they need to bring in someone who is a competitive quarterback. I think Jimmy Garoppolo makes them competitive. Do they win the division? We'll have to wait and see how Joe Burrow and Lamar Jackson look next year. Obviously, those are two of the best quarterbacks in the NFL, but the Steelers need someone better than Haskins and better than Mason Rudolph, and that's why I think they should go after Jimmy Garoppolo. My number one team for Jimmy G is the Washington football team. Their name may be different by the time you're listening to this podcast, but Washington's always had a very good team, but it's never been able to find the right quarterback, whether it's been Kyle Allen or some of the other players like that, like Allen or, or Tyler Heineke. Those guys are solid, but they're not franchise quarterbacks. And they're in a division that, you know, is good, not great. But, you know, the Cowboys are obviously the elite team in that division. The Philadelphia Eagles were much better than expected this year. I'm not exactly a huge believer in what's in next season, at least, for the New York Giants. I like who they hired, but how good they'll be in 2022 remains a question. So when I look at Washington, they have a very good defense. They have some solid skill pieces. They have receivers like you look at. Terry McLaurin, Curtis Samuel. Uh, hopefully they can get a full season out of Logan Thomas, who was injured for a majority of this year. Washington needs to make move at the quarterback position. Now, many of you are probably saying, well, why don't they just go into the draft looking to draft a QB? One, I don't think Kenny Pickett's going to be available at number 11. And two, is Matt Corral worth taking right now at number 11, knowing he may not be healthy to start the year? You know, many Washington football fan team fans like those other options but in my opinion they need to get a better quarterback in there uh, to be that true number one guy Jimmy Garoppolo could be a bridge to their next young QB or could even be he's their best option right now he's better than Taylor Heineke he's better than Kyle Allen better than some other quarterbacks they've had there in a very long time so in a division that really anyone can win I think the addition of Jimmy Garoppolo could potentially be big for the Washington football team so Jimmy Garoppolo again is going to be someone who has a pretty large cap hit as he goes into next year, but he will not be a San Francisco 49er. It's looking like for the 2022 season, where could he get traded? My number five is Carolina Panthers. Number four, Tampa Bay Buccaneers, three Denver Broncos, two Pittsburgh Steelers. And my number one team to trade for Jimmy Garoppolo is the Washington football team. Where do you think Jimmy Garoppolo could get traded? Feel free to give me your thoughts in the comment section below. Also don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more of my exclusive content. Thank you everyone for tuning in and we will see you very soon.